What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My TV video. And guys, today we do have some new content. Nah, I'm just kidding. We got no new content, but we do have some empty making methods for you guys. And guys, today we're going to go over some things. We're also going to have another video after this. If you guys could please drop the sub, that'd be greatly appreciated. We're actually at 8,500 subs now. You guys are absolutely insane. We gained another 150 subs. So if you guys are new, make sure to let me know if you're new down in the comments down below. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, before we get into the video, let's get 100 likes, sub button, like I said. Make sure to follow the Twitter, we're buying, selling, MT, and as well as uh, if you need your 12 and 0s done, let me know. Twitter, all that good stuff. Follow the Twitter, we do MT giveaways on there, but yeah, let's get into the video. So, I honestly have been thinking a lot, and there's a lot of ways to make MT. Now, if you guys didn't know, there's a lot of packs that are gone. First off, the heat checks are gone. I'm screwed, I was trying to get some heat checks done. And now they're gone. I don't know if they're gone for good, but if they are, we're in trouble. But also, it makes me wonder, is heat new heat checks coming? Is there a new set coming? Because if there is, we're getting AD. But anyways, that's not the point. The point is, we want to make MT. How are we going to do it? So, I got a couple ways for you to make MT. First off, <clears throat> if you didn't sell your cards, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Because honestly... If you don't sell your cards, you are insane. Like right now, you should definitely be selling your cards. I honestly am about to sell my Yachtis. Right now is probably the last chance you will have to sell your cards. Giannis is rocking around 490 with just a contract. Um, he's probably gonna get outbidded real quick for like five something. Now, if you do have your Giannis, make sure to sell him. I will probably be selling mine tonight. I'm gonna try to go on my 12 and 0 run on five and 0. But that's not the point. You guys need to sell your cards because something tomorrow is coming. I believe it's prime. We're going to have new content predictions tomorrow. If it's prime, I'm expecting either a Zion or a, uh, I don't know. There's just so many options at this point. Maybe a Paul George or something like that. Possibly a Giannis. We shall see. But if you guys have Luka Doncic, he has went up a lot. He was around 200 to 180. He's actually going to continue to rise. Honestly, I'm about to pick this one up for 260. Got outbidded. Maybe that one. Let's see if we get that one with nine minutes left. But, yo, right now, you guys can make so much MT just by simply selling your cards, selling your contracts as well. If you guys ended up did, if you did pick up these contracts like I told you to, also, if you did pick up the Spotlight, uh, spotlight SIM cards I told you to, um, also big Ws because they went up a lot. The Zellers, I made so much MT off the Zellers. Now, contracts are around 12K already. I got all mine for nine and under. Now I'm gonna make 2K a pop, I got like 50. So I'm gonna make so much MT off my own method. Just to show you my method works, here it is, I got all of these. And also, I also have a ton of these contracts. And honestly, it's crazy. Alrighty, so, um, looking at my squad, it's pretty good. Um, I'm thinking about selling everybody like I said. Like, honestly, if you're not selling, first off, as you guys know, cards become outdated quickly in this game. So now, sooner or later, Blake's going to continue to drop. Cards are going to continue to come out like LeBron, like Zion, like Paul George, like Kawhi, like Giannis. There's a lot of people coming out still. So now, if you really want to sell your cards, it's a very good time to do so. You can make a lot of MT by simply just selling your cards. It's literally the simplest thing. Your Amethyst, your Pink Diamonds, don't ask me in the comments. Just go to the auction, drop the sell button, and do it. If you want to sell your diamond contracts as well, do that as well. There's just a lot you guys should be doing to make a lot of MT. With that being said, simple things like selling your cards and listening to bugs is always good. Now, <clears throat> if you have Clyde Drexler is one of the only exceptions... I would not recommend selling Clyde. I think he's way too cheap. I think he's really good for the price, and I think he might rise. So if you do have Clyde Drexler, I will continue to wait. Um, literally, the market is so high right now. And honestly, next week's going to be a different promo. This week's going to be uh, Prime. Next week's going to be a different promo. Magic Johnson is up, up 70,000 MT. 
70,000 after the reduction, about 50, 40, 50,000 MT. If you ended up picking up MJ for 250,000, you're gonna make a lot of MT. I actually did myself. I might wanna keep him because he's Magic Johnson, but honestly, I think I'm gonna sell him off, bro. I was versing Cat yesterday. Cat is a different human. I'm thinking about locking that in. Um, but yo, right now, I think we might get a locker code later. Might drop the auction a little bit. But I'm just gonna continue to look through the auctions. And honestly, let's look at the Diamond Spotlight, uh, Spotlight Sim Filter because I heard it was still popping off. So let's go over to that. Um, it's obviously better the day that content drops. If you guys invested in Tony Snell for 6K, you're gonna make some decent MT. Um, so let's see what's going on with the Spotlight Sim. I don't know what's going on, but I know they did drop a lot of new cards, like the OG and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, let's see what's going on. DJ Augustine's old. So yeah, about the same things going on with this filter. Tony Snell did ruin it. Hopefully he does go up in value so we could snipe on this filter. Now, also, I heard Pink Diamond Filter was working for a lot of my subs. And if you want to make a lot of MT, I guess this is the filter because I don't think David Thompson is on boards anymore. So now that Pink Diamond is up a lot. It was around 8K. It looks like it's around maybe 12K now, which is a huge dub. Let's see what it's going for. So yeah, if you want to snipe out pink diamonds, you could possibly get some crazy snipes. Like 11,000 MT is probably a really good idea to try to snipe around. Um, obviously, people with low MT, this could be a huge W. If you get Paul George, KD, pink diamond, you continue to refresh your maximum bid. You could get a really a lot of MT. And this might be one of the best ways. Obviously, playing TTO is definitely a good way as well. But yeah, you know, this way solid i'm trying to think there's the diamond filter there's the ami filter let's see if the ami filter is back to normal if it's back to normal all you guys did invest that did invest made a lot of mt let's see yeah it's pretty good right now um besides the kevin martin the towns and the yo has always really been there so yeah honestly it's kind of back to normal i'm at this filter one of my best mt making methods you can get a thousand a pop two thousand a pop it's quick it's easy the cards sell fast and honestly they pop up quick um if you guys don't know, one more filter, a couple more filters I have on my sleeve. This filter is pretty solid too to make MT. Um, it's like 600, I believe, or 650, whatever you want to do. 650 to 500 MT. You never know what could pop up, bro. An opal could pop up, and you could make so much MT. A diamond could pop up, you could make a minimum of 5K. A amethyst could pop up. Just a lot of things could pop up in order for you to make MT. Only problem with this filter is there's so much competition. And honestly, with the competition being so high, I'm not the total. I'm not a total fan of this filter. It's honestly super hard to get snipes. And honestly, um, I just want to hear what you guys have to say, like content prediction wise. Like, what do you think is coming? Like, what will come? Out? I don't know how the hell I got outbidded there. Um, tomorrow is definitely gonna be prime. I just want to know from you guys what exactly is going to come out. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to do. Um, also, if you have Lonzo, sell him. Demonis Sabonis, sell him. He's terrible. Caruso. Uh, I think the Opal Filter is back on the Western side. Let's check that out. And yeah, on the Western side, the Opal Filter is back. Let's check the East. East, I think. Wow, the Opal Filter is back today. So if you guys want to snipe, make sure to hop on the Opal Filter. It's back and it's in action. So this is actually crazy. Uh, if you guys don't know how to snipe on the minimum filter, you just got to move your minimum bid. You could change your max uh, buyout or max bid to 100k if you want. But, yo, the fact that the Opal filter is back again when there was a million Trey Youngs up is crazy. So, in order for you guys to make some MT, sell your cards. Try the Opal filter. Try all those filters I tried out for a bunch of ballers. Opal filter is not for you. For people that are new to the game, Opal filter is not for you. It's highly competitive, highly toxic filter that you guys probably shouldn't be on if you are new to sniping. Um, honestly, that's really all I got for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have been loving the content. Um, the Mo Bamba gameplay went off. So make sure to go check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Stay tuned for more content. Peace.